Good afternoon, everybody. I have Netflix up here on hourly chart. They reported their quarterly earnings, and I do have the report. This is going to be easy money, and I'll tell you why. Number one, they are going to uh, guide the quarter down moving forward, and we already can see the short squeeze. There isn't anything good about these numbers. They beat by four cents. The U.S. subs below guidance and international subs were slightly above. And they are going to uh, guide Q4 subs, EPS, and REVs below consensus. That is not a good recipe. Last quarter was down 30%. So right now we can see that they came down here. They hit 265 dollars now they're uh pumping that baby up here to 318 we had expected that they were going to get this dead cat bounce on a so-so report the report is not that good at all and i will be updating to exactly what those numbers look like and whatnot the company issues the downside guidance uh, an EPS of 51 versus 85. That's not good. I don't care what anyone says. The CQ4 uh, revs of 5.44, 2 billion versus 5.51. Once again, that number is light, and it is. But listen, this is an easy trade. They pumped it right up here to 317 in the morning. We're going to have this gap on Netflix. And once again, it's earnings season. Last quarter, they dropped 50 some dollars. They did hit that $265 down there on the bottom when they gave that initial release. This will be a very, very, very easy trade in the morning. We will short this gap. There's going to be some other numbers. I've got all the numbers. I've got all the facts. And there isn't nothing good about it. Not only that, you've got new streaming wars that are going to start. Disney's coming out. They're taking the quarter down for Q4. They got their pop, but it will be short-lived. And we will short the high end of this trade. The $300 calls up and out of the money are going to pay as well. That was way up and out of the money. And those call options were inflated in, in prices as well. So I'm going to conclude this. I will update everything. You can clearly see 265 when they came out with the headline. They just had popped it up here. I gave out some of the numbers. Uh, Netflix is going to have a lot of troubles in 2020. And I mean a lot of troubles. And they're burning through their cash. International slubs slightly above. So what? They're giving that EPS revs below consensus. And they pop the stock. A lot of people will still short Netflix going into it. We did not have any short position on Netflix going into this report for this very reason. Once again, we will short the gap in the morning, and we will, and Netflix will sell off of that high opening bell gap in the morning. Stay tuned, everyone. We get to get a great, big, fat trade off of that gap open up with the put options, and we'll be giving out those orders on Netflix.